viewers, today Durango has been suffering a lot of changes and many people say that things got crazy on the last years. Uh, this is because of the unusual weather that the city is suffering. But not only the weather has changed, uh, some students from UTD told us that they were feeling uncomfortable with some aspects of the college. But let's give to them the opportunity to explain us what has happened the last days on this beautiful university. Follow me into UTD Gossip by Daniel Mijares. Thank you so much, Pepe. Now, in your favorite section, let's talk about some interesting things about the school. Well, first of all, a student said that the scholarships to Canada were too harsh to obtain, but only time will decide who could go. Also, there's a problem with some teachers, because Ms. Fernando, as always, said that they didn't do their jobs as good as it has to be. So, Ms. Fernando, I think you are into a little bit controversy. Anyway, well, wait. Yeah, my sources told me that the principal just fell down right now. He was walking and then he fell down. Actually, he's in the hospital right now. It seems like he has a stroke, but we know he's almighty. Well, let's just wait what the doctor said. Well, and actually, that's all. Now, they told me it's time to go to the studio. Thank you for your time, thank you to my mom, thank you for the teacher, and now let's go back with Pepe. <sighs> what a nice man. So, UTD always gave us something to talk about. We hope the principal will come back soon also. Now, we pass to the weather forecast by the cutie Kareli. Uh, good morning Kareli, tell us what you got. Thank you very much, Pepe. It's a pleasure to greet you in this morning with today's weather forecast. Today, in our beautiful city, we woke up with a minimum of minus 5 degrees Celsius, light cloudiness and a pleasant breeze, so I recommend you to use light clothing. By the noon, the forecast said that we will be reaching the maximum temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and with a completely clear sky. sky. So it will be better to carry hats, umbrellas, or a sunscreen unless you want to have a good time. In the afternoon, the forecast announced that it would be a thunderstorm. So close your windows and remove the clothes from your clothesline. Well, to the, to the end, at night, the fan cold, cold front will arrive to our city. So, Extreme snowfalls are predicted, so pack your home, bear with your granny chocolate. So far my report, Pepe. Thank you, Karen. It will be an interesting day. And maybe we can finally enjoy some snow in this course city. Uh, in other news, many famous people have been sighted in some places of this Scorpion city. Uh, maybe it's time to watch the entertainment section uh, brought to you by a professional paparazzi and researcher Maribel. Hey everyone, my name is Maribel, your paparazzi, and today in your favorite section of the program, I said this because I know my section is your favorite and not dance, I have some gossip for you, this time about the famous, the sexiest, and the hottest guy of all the times, Harry Styles. Yes, the ex One Direction. Yes, the guy who dates Taylor Swift, Kendall Jenner, and Karen Delvine, and the top model Sarah Simpayo, and Eric Foster. Well, yeah, he has dated a lot of famous girls, but don't get stressed, he's getting married with me, and you can trust on that. This morning, Styles was seen taking a walk through Parque Guadiana here in Durango, and because of a really good friendship, I asked him to spend a little time with us. So that's why I have for you the amazing surprise that one of your favorite male singers, you already know who I'm talking about, said yes to have a little interview with us. But wait, that's just one surprise. We're giving away two VIP tickets for his concert this May 31st, and it's taking place at the iconic Pepsi Center, located at Denver, Colorado. So that's why I have for you here the amazing Harry Styles. Come here, Harry. Thank you, thank you. 
How are you? Hey, I'm really good. And hey, how are you? I'm good and I'm so happy to have you here. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. Sure. Um, so tell us, what are you doing here? Um, I came here to see my girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend, Karel. She is the, she's my co-worker. Really? Oh, yeah. great. Uh, yeah, I came here to see you. Tell us a little bit more about your relationship. Well, uh, I know her uh, since 2001. Uh, well, uh, I don't know how else to say. Uh, she is so beautiful and it's the love of my life. Okay, tell us your favorite color. <laughs> my favorite color is the green. And what are your hobbies? Oh, I enjoy to take the tea with the queen. And I'm a really good friend of her. And well, that's it. I love to sing uh, in the bathroom, in the, in the bus, uh, every place. So, is there something you want to tell to your favorite fans, the Mexican ones? Well, uh, I really love you girls. You are the greatest fans I have ever had. Uh, well, I will enjoy that you will see me on this 31st. Okay, this is all. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you Maribel for that lovely section. Uh, the favorite one of our viewers. That's what she said. Well, uh, that was interesting about Harry Styles. That man. Uh, some girls said that he the, was the handsome, the most handsome man in the earth. I don't know. Well, uh, to continue with the program, uh, let's go with Gustavo. He is going to be the presenter of the news, the really, really news uh, that are hitting the world today. So, let's go with him. Thank you so much, Pepe. I hope you're enjoying your day today. And good morning to all the people who listen to us this beautiful morning. Today, I'm going to talk about the Huawei case, which is a trending topic on social media. But now, the problem is very hot. Probably you have heard about this word problem. Due to a lot of people are talking about it. You can see memes in the internet. However, this problem, this is a real problem. First of all, uh, the president Donald Trump said that Huawei was spying people through both <coughs> the smartphones. This information is not proven. However, Trump has banned this important company from USA. Even any American company is going to be able to negotiate with a Chinese company. So it could be a big problem because Google is not going to be able to negotiate with, with Huawei. So this is, this is causing a lot of economic problem in all the world because USA has lost a lot of millions of dollars even Chinese uh, the Chinese president told us that they are thinking about uh, economic war so this is real this is a big problem so that's all that's it for me and thank you for watching well thank you to Gustavo uh, so that's all of our part, uh, this is the end of the program, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next week. And cut! Thank you very much, Pepe. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> uh, in other news, maybe it's time. No, I see it. Thank you for.
Sí, sí, sí.